It is the deepest desire of my heart and my soul to serve God, to serve God's people, and to serve God's church and ordained ministry as a living icon and sacrament of God's grace and love. It is my belief that the ministries of preaching, pastoral care, and worship are the vehicles in which the divine gifts of my being, my knowing, and my actions can be manifested to offer hope and service for God's new creation and all of God's children. As a priest that is a living icon and sacrament of God's grace, my prior and ongoing witness of God's grace that has been manifested in the lives of countless persons and in my own life requires that I walk the walk that I talk. My belief in the triune nature of humankind as is with our faith's belief and the triune God enables me to move with the power of the Holy Spirit towards being a sacrament for those who have no hope, for those who are fearful, for those who need to find the truth of God's word for their lives and living, to have a compassion for the human condition which requires healing and reconciliation, and leading God's communities in and outside of a liturgical setting in those worshipful and liturgical practices that move communities of faith from being the most segregated place in America on Sunday mornings to becoming a communion and community empowered to carry out God's mission in our world. As a priest, walking the walk and not just talking it will enable me to lead communities of faith in a gospel-empowered practice of liturgy, not just as a leader, but as a member of that community, always being mindful of the cultural context of the community. A gospel-empowered worship that is not based solely on how well we do it and what we do well, but is based on the way in which worshipfulness and thankfulness of God's love for each of us, and subsequently in the body of Christ, fulfills God's mission and the preparation of God's new kingdom. Worship that defends the doctrines of our faith, but also realizes that the body of Christ is constituted of all children of God with unique cultural needs, and that the gospel is good news for the entire body of Christ. During my first year of priestly service following graduation from seminary, I am blessed with the gift of continued ministry residency by serving a parish that is the largest in my diocese. During this period of my ordained service, I will be able to continue to hone those divine gifts of being, knowing, and doing in my transition from the academic setting of seminary and to a mutual ministry of service and discipleship that I will share with that parish community. With the career history of more than 25 years, which encompassed my journeying with people through habilitation and rehabilitation, my call to ordain ministry has readied me to include that experience in my efforts to provide ministry that empowers all of God's children to participate in God's mission through the living of the commandment that we love our neighbors as ourselves, being actualized in our humility of living and knowing that we don't get to choose our neighbors, and in knowing and living the principles of Christ's social justice.